Periods are always a taboo subject, no matter where you go. Even in a sophisticated and elite sport like golf, talking about menstruation can cause things to go a little topsy-turvy. So it didn't surprise many how when a professional golfer addressed it in a poached match interview, the journalist was at a complete loss for words. Join us as we break down the super duper awkward moment and so much more. So first off, what happened? Lydia Ko, a New Zealand golfer, recently finished two strokes behind winner Marina Alex at the 2022 Palos Verdes Championship. She had won so many hearts for talking about menstruation though. During the final round, the 25 year old was seen having her physiotherapist work on her back. This made veteran reporter Jerry Fultz of the Golf Channel ask her why she needed physiotherapy during the final round of the match, which is when she tied for third. And Fultz wanted to know whether her back was something that she needed to worry about in the future. And Co did not hold back when it came to telling the truth. And we just can't get enough of it. I'm hoping not. It's that time of the month again. I know the ladies watching are probably thinking, yeah, I got you, Co explained. Women definitely know what's up because periods, from what I hear, are uncomfortable and they can cause back pain for many. The golfer further explained how when she's menstruating, her back tightens and she feels some resistance when moving. The physiotherapist helping her made it so much easier for her to function at her best, or, you know, at least close to her best. But what was really worth noticing is how the reporter scrambled for a suitable response, and the only thing he could come up with at that <laughs> exact moment was thanks. At the awkward moment, Ko couldn't help but laugh and lighten the whole situation by making a joke about faults and how honest answers are really the way to go about it. Next, fans went wild over the real talk. Following the viral moment, Fultz responded to a number of people on social media. According to one user, the reporter is usually the one who gets the player all emotional, but this time, the turns were tabled. This is really accurate, and even Fultz has to admit that this was truly a, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Another user also chastised him for acting like a complete idiot when talking about something that so many women go through every month. Well, you gotta give credit where it's due, though, because he completely agreed with the person and accepted his less-than-ideal response like a champ. Social media was flooded with praise for Ko's honesty, with many arguing that most veteran sports reporters are either unaware or fail to recognize the additional challenges that female athletes face in any sport whatsoever. Many people express strong support for normalizing period talk in the sports world, stating that it's about time that we remove stigma associated with menstruation. Another important thing is how periods are considered to be a sign of weakness or an excuse women use to justify their performance. Many tweets went about highlighting the obvious double standards that exist in all of sports and how if it was a blown knee or some other injury that men face commonly, Jerry Fultz wouldn't have faltered. The interview wouldn't have been stopped either. And now, the urgent need to normalize menstruation in sports. Periods affect every woman differently, and for many athletes, they become an obstacle to their performance on the field. It's not the first time that a female athlete has spoken out openly about their menstrual cycle to an, a journalist, but it, it's still strangely perceived as a taboo subject, despite the fact that so many women are affected by it. When an interviewer noticed Fu Yanhui, a Chinese swimmer at the 2016 Rio Olympics, grimacing after her race, she asked about the pain she was in. Now, her response wasn't what many expected. Fu explained in Mandarin how her period recently started, so she was feeling weak. It's unfortunate that she had to further elaborate on how she wasn't making excuses and her swimming just wasn't up to par. Like we just talked about, it's incredibly sad how women feel the need to justify that their period isn't an excuse. Another athlete that spoke up about the impact of period pains is former Ireland rugby international player Sophie Spence. She told the BBC in 2020 that menstruation cycles needed to be given more and more, like more tension in women's sports. It's critical that professional women athletes continue to speak out about the common health issue, especially given the alarming trend of women and girls leaving sports too soon. Puma and Madi Badi recently commissioned a global survey to investigate the reason girls leave the sport, and the results were staggering. They discovered that one in two teens skip sports due to their period, and many girls stop sports due to embarrassment, fear, or fear of leaks during their period. The survey findings also revealed how period culture and a lack of innovation are preventing girls from participating in sports. So kudos to Lydia Ko for breaking the stigma, and, and hopefully many more athletes will follow in her footsteps. Marina Alex takes the W. Now, how exactly did the LPGA win for Marina Alex Ko? Ko, who was one shot off the lead at the start of the day, couldn't improve on her position after an up and down day four, carding with a one under 70 to finish eighth under the American Megan Kang. And it was there for the taking for the Kiwi world number three, but struggles off the tee and the back issue due to her period forced her to settle for second top 10 finish of the season. The 25 year old recovered from a bogey on the first hole to finish at one under par thanks to birdies in the third and fifth holes. She did, however, miss another shot at the 10th and only made one more birdie on the back nine. It was her worst tee to green performance of the week, hitting only five of 14 fairways with a hook plaguing her game all day, possibly caused by her mild back tightness. Despite her difficulties with the driver, Ko was able to provide herself with numerous birdie opportunities thanks to her always reliable scrambling and short game. But when it came down to it, she couldn't quite 
sink the putts. So, Alex deserved all the praise as she had won the, her second LPGA Tour title with a 566, which is one shot better than world number one Jin Young Ko. The hard work that she's put in has definitely paid off. Like she said herself, the 31-year-old just battled with a herniated disc in her lower back, and she wasn't too sure if she'd be on the course again. Defeating odds like these, it, it, that ain't easy at all, and, well, the sport's only getting tougher. Now, in other news, well, things have been pretty busy on the course, with the controversial LIV golf series and British Masters coming up. Lee Westwood defends his decision. Lee Westwood has defended his decision to enter the LIV golf invitational series next month, claiming that golf has been scrutinized more than any other sport due to its ties to Saudi Arabia. Westwood is the latest player to confirm his intention to play at the Centurion Club from June 9th through 11th in 2022, the first of eight scheduled events, after requesting releases from both the DP World Tour and the PGA Tour. According to the golfer, golf has been getting too much shade for things other sports do as well. Ahead of the British Masters, the 49-year-old doesn't understand why asking for a release from the LIV Golf Series is such a problem, as he's been released from PGA Tours to play in Saudi Arabia before too. When asked if the source of his funds, Saudi Arabia's public investment fund was a concern. Westwood said that sports and politics shouldn't have been mixed. Rory McElroy feels his confidence boosted. He says that his final round charge at the Masters has given him confidence as he prepares to defend his title at the Wells Fargo Championship. McElroy capped a final round 64 at Augusta National with a birdie from a greenside bunker on the 18th hole, finishing runner-up to Scotty Scheffler at the Masters. On his 33rd birthday, the Northern Irishman told reporters at TPC Potomac and Avenel Farm that he doesn't feel any extra pressure heading into the next 10-week stretch. That includes the three majors. Mickelson's remarks hurt the Saudi Super League. According to former two-time major championship winner Greg Norman, CEO of the LIV Golf Invitational Series, Phil Mickelson's recent criticism of a proposed Saudi-backed breakaway tour in golf has hurt the up-and-coming league. In February, comments from Mickelson's interview with author Alan Shipnuck in November have surfaced, in which the 51-year-old called the Saudis scary mother is to be d involved with, and they questioned the country's very shady human rights records. Mickelson has since apologized for his reckless remarks and has filed a request to play in a conflicting event with the PGA Tour, revealing his desire to continue playing in the new Saudi Super League. Norman went on to say that nearly one-third of the world's top 50 players are committed to playing on the new golf tour, despite the release of Mickelson's shocking comments. And that's a wrap for today's video. So, what do you think of Lydia Ko's candid response to the reporter? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.